Hi, I'm Jessica. And hi, I'm Scott with the Garmin Aviation Team. And today we're going to take you flying in Garmin's King Air 200, equipped with Garmin Auto Throttle and Garmin Auto Land. As part of this flight, we're going to show you some of the latest features added to the G1000 NXI software update, as well as some of the workload reducing benefits associated with Garmin's Auto Throttle in the King Air. As part of this demo, Scott and I will also show off some of the enhanced envelope protection offered by one engine and operative electronic stability and protection. And finally, we'll show off Garmin's first twin engine certification and retrofit installation of Autoland in the King Air. With G1000 NXI, we now have 3D echocentric taxi diagrams on both primary flight displays. 3D echocentric taxi provides a 3D view of the taxiway, the runway, hangars, and buildings surrounding the airport. Once you turn onto the runway within 70 degrees of the runway center line, the PFDs will return to normal scaling. So let's talk a little bit about the Garmin Auto Throttle. Garmin Auto Throttle is available as a retrofit installation in the King Air, which offers a significant reduction in pilot workload. It's fully integrated with the G1000 NXI, particularly with the Garmin GFC 700 Autopilot. We have power settings that are based on manufactured, user-configurable climb, cruise, and descent schedules, which can be shown in the flight plan page on the MFD. The auto throttle is always going to obey your ITT and torque limits. We have an FMS mode that tracks predefined speed or power targets, and we also have a manual mode that maintains a specific airspeed selected by the pilot. On takeoff at 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, the auto throttle will activate, and the auto throttle takeoff white enunciation will turn green, once the auto throttle becomes active. With G1000 NXI, we have new audio distribution pages for both the pilot, co-pilot, passengers, and intercom. Next, we'll demonstrate one engine and operative ESP. Garmin has taken electronic stability and protection, or ESP, one step further in the King Air with the introduction of one engine and operative ESP. Just like ESP, one engine on inoperative ESP is active while the pilot is hand flying the aircraft. In the event of an engine failure in the King Air, one engine inoperative ESP pitch and roll limits are automatically adjusted to help prevent the pilot from making excessive pitch and bank angles. One engine inoperative ESP is active. The bank envelope is tightened to 10 degrees on the failed engine side and 40 degrees on the good engine side. The pitch envelope is also reduced to 10 degrees nose up and 5 degrees nose down. If the pilot were to exceed any of these predetermined limits for a prolonged period of time, level mode will activate and the autopilot will engage. If level mode is active for two minutes, auto land will automatically activate. Even further, one engine inoperative ESP also keeps the aircraft 15 knots above VMCA, or minimum control airspeed, ensuring that the aircraft does not get too slow during single engine operations. One engine inoperative ESP can also be disabled at any time by pressing the dedicated button installed in the panel. Next, we'll demonstrate a fully coupled go around with Garmin's auto throttle. Executing a go around in the King Air is one of the highest workload phases of flight for a pilot particularly when you're flying single pilot or you're in low instrument flight conditions. But Garmin Auto Throttle reduces the workload significantly. As part of this demonstration, we're going to fly an instrument approach today, we're going to press the go-around button, and we're going to allow the Auto Throttle to advance the power levers. From there, the pilot simply has to raise the flaps and the gear. Finally, we'll walk through a full Auto Land activation in the King Air. Upon activation, Autoland determines the most optimal airport and runway, taking into consideration factors such as fuel on board, airport type, weather, runway length and width, terrain, obstacles, and more. For this demonstration, we'll activate Autoland via the dedicated Autoland button located in the pedestal. Once activated, the system calculates a flight plan to the most suitable airport and initiates an approach to the runway. It will also out automatically communicate with ATC both on tower frequency and emergency frequency and Squawk 7700. For the purposes of this demo, the communication feature has been disabled. Now that it's activated, Autoland is providing visual cues in plain language to the passengers, notifying them of which airport that the aircraft will be landing at. 
During an actual Autoland activation, the passengers would also hear oral communications notifying them the distance to the airport, estimated time and route, and more. Pilots can also easily deactivate Autoland with a simple press of the AP Autopilot Soft key or the Autopilot Disconnect button on the control yoke. As part of the activation sequence, Autoland accelerates to 200 knots before beginning its descent to the airport. For the purposes of this activation sequence, Autoland has identified New Century Airport and Runway 18 as the nearest most suitable airport and runway to land at. As we begin our descent, Garmin Auto Throttle easily manages aircraft power and speed automatically. When the aircraft is within 10 miles and a less than 3,000 feet AGL at 190 knots, the approach flaps lower automatically. Garmin Autoland is now turning about a five mile final for runway 18. Now that we're inside the final approach fix and about at 160 knots, the gear has automatically extended. Now at about 140 knots, landing flaps lower automatically. At boss 4 two, you can follow at approximately the, uh, 45 feet above the runway, the throttles please. come to idle, and the aircraft enters the flare. We'll follow that warrior ahead of us, so we have a tight at boss 4 two. Automatic braking is applied while tracking the center line, which brings the aircraft to a complete stop. During an actual activation, engine shutdown is also automated.